you'll need to make sure until you've lodged your final event, you can make any additional pay runs in the relevant financial year to update any incorrect earnings, provided the payment date is prior to 30 June. The final event is due to be reported to the ATO by the 14th of July, 2023. That's the cutoff for all products um, for their final STP event to be submitted. At this time, that is when the um, annual statements for each employee comes through to their definitive self-service, and they'll also appear as tax ready in the employee's MyGov. So there's no more need to be um, issuing payment summaries and that type of thing anymore. You know, since we moved into STP, it's all an annual statement that is, you know, driven by into the MyGov as tax ready. So a system overview. So we wanted to go into our organisation and review these configurations to um, have a look at what, you know, make sure everything is right. So Kelly, if you don't mind, I'm just going to flick over to your data now and just run through these few things. So under our organisation settings and our admin tab, we want to just go here and check that our correct contact person is there for um, the STP submission and that the lodgement notifications are switched on down here and who would get those um, those ones there. We've got some, we want to just review our, oops. We want to have a review of our pay items. So then um, that's under reporting. You can, there's a good report under here that where you can actually company reporting to have a look at your pay items set up to make sure that you've got all the correct settings and so forth on your pay items. While we're in this screen, we'll just have a quick look at reporting. You'll see now that under the payroll reporting, you've got a phase one, which is the old payroll reporting. And you've got then the year to date is the phase two reporting. So they're all the things you want to look at. Oops. All right. So just do a review of all of these type of things. They're all very straightforward. This is the menu of where you will find each of those items. So then any fringe benefit tax that needs to be recorded can be done through a manual pay run or in conjunction with, you know, your last pay run of the year. That can be actually entered any time after the fringe benefit tax year finishes, which is the 31st of March each year. Um, if you choose to do them as an additional, it'll be a manual pay run, um, which is very, very straightforward. If you need any help with that at the time, just pop a ticket in to help at, and one of us will jump online and help you with that. That moves us into the review of the pay runs. So as part of your preparation, you'll go into your pay runs and make sure that the list of pay runs are all published. And then you've got these pay run reports that I just showed you quickly on the other screen that you go through and run those reports to cross check everything that it all marries up to the totals that you want it to be. So they're the recommended um, you know, reports that we would suggest, but there's a lot more reports in there. You may find that you need to do a few other reports accordingly. Um, so just have a look around there and see what's, what's available. So then we will go into any adjustments. So you, if you need to process any adjustments, so you've found that something's not right, once again, you can do that as a manual pay run. Very simply go in and just select the manual pay run option and make sure that your commencement and cease dates must be set within the, the, fi the financial year. You need to make sure, you know, that's prior to 30 June 23. If you need to have any adjustments to the um, early termination figures, make sure the payment date matches the payment date of the original early termination payment. That's really important. Otherwise, the STP gets quite confused. The amounts won't merge correctly if they don't have the same date range there. So when you're happy with everything, that it's all reconciled and everything's processed, you can simply go in and submit your final STP to event. So it is a, 
I'll just bring it across. So it's under under your payroll here, you've got end of year. So it's very much finalize and lodge your end of year there. So very easy. It's just important that you make sure you're reconciled and you've got everything processed before you do that. So then if you do require any amendments following the final event, you may find that you'll get some email notifications back from the ATO. We talked about having the correct notification set up, you know, so that somebody would get an alert. Um, the, you know, they will come back to you if there's something not right. If you need any help with those amendments, please just reach out to us at help at thrivetech.com.au. It's not something I can specifically go into in this type of forum today, um, simply because there are so many variables there. Um, and we will have a, access to a list of you know, potential error messages that we can um, access for you and help you troubleshoot any of those final event amendments that are required. So then we also have some things to do to get ready for financial year 2024. So most of you would know that the superannuation is increasing to 11% effective the 1st of July. And I believe Andrew has reached out to most of you to help you organise that. There is an increase to the cents per kilometre rate um, for the new finance year. I would suggest referring to the ATO for that new rate because I think it varies across, across different industries. And any changes that need to happen from a tax perspective will be updated via a mini release from Access Definity. At this stage, I understand there's no changes to the individual pay PAYG withholding rates for the new financial year so and I don't think that will change in this short time frame but any of that kind of stuff definitive will just do a mini release and roll that out in the background so you don't need to have your final STP2 event lodged prior to making these updates because definitive is a date driven system we can key in any of these updates now and future date them so that they will take effect on the 1st of July being the case for the superannuation or you know whatever the dates are for the new kilometre rate. Once again, the ATO would give you exact dates of those changes along the way. And now it's time for some questions. And I'm sure there will be a lot. <laughs> so please, um, Take yourself off mute and jump in. Did we have any questions come through the chat, Andrew? Uh, not yet. Did anybody have any questions? No. I'll just flick back through each of the slides and I can we can then just narrow in and some specific questions on on any of those slides. So anything to do with the overview, with the dating and et cetera, anybody have any questions around that one? Hey Jacinda, um, I had a bit of technical difficulty with my sound when I first logged on. Um, so I'm gonna have to run through the whole thing again, but I'll just read it all. Um, okay. The slides, and then if anything pops up, I will definitely give you a bell. Yep, definitely. Yeah, well, I had technical problems. My demo data went, went off last. <laughs> I wasn't oh. able to show, show, you know, as much detail as I wanted to there. So um, I'll flick into the next slide. So everyone's familiar enough with their way around, you know, that this means go to the admin tab, configuration, your organisation details and so on. You know that they are the areas where you will be able to check and review these um, methods and policies. So fringe benefit tax, any questions around fringe benefit tax amounts needing to be recorded? Generally, your accountant would give you those kind of details, you know, to enter in when after they finalise the fringe benefit tax return, if you do have reportable fringe benefits tax for your employees. So list of reports, once again, very clear, you know, in reporting, the payroll reporting and so on, just to cross check that everything marries. 
most of you have probably used the spreadsheet tool when you moved from phase one STP into phase two STP. So you would be pretty confident that your STP2 aligns if you went through that process of that little report tool that Definitive rolled out and gave us a link to. So then we talk about adjustments, the type of adjustments you may need. Uh, you know, we talked about the early termination payment adjustments need to have the same specific figures. Any other adjustments, if you find them, you could actually just run them on a specific date, you know, to get capture all the adjustments. Most people don't usually need adjustments because Definitive is that date driven system and all the back pays activate very automatically. You generally find that any changes have already been picked up in your pay runs throughout the year. So lodgement, very simply under your payroll tab, you've got an end of year lodgement. So, and it's very much like publishing your STP every week where you just tick the box and declare. Um, we talked in the beginning about making sure you've got the email alert on for the, um, to make sure that the notifications come back into your inbox. And once you go back into their final event, it'll give you any um, information about what is not right in there. And any amendments following the event, please reach out to us and we will help you because they could be one of, you know, many, many different error messages which we can help you work through. And getting ready for 2024, everything there is very straightforward. Don't forget you can get this done in advance. So get yourself organized and that's it. So I'll open the floor again to check if there's any other questions before we wrap up. Jacinta, um, the timing of this, we've got to do this before we process the first 2024 year, is that right? Or? That's correct, yes. Okay, right. And put termination on everybody, termination dates on everyone would have to be done, yeah? Or if they are terminated, you would need to have a termination date. Okay. But if they're ongoing, you won't need a termination date. Right. Okay. Yeah, that was. Yeah. So it's very much like you know having in your prior legacy system where you would do your final events and tick the box, you know, and that which you would have done before you processed your next pay run. So. Any other questions? All right, we have no further questions. We will end it there. Thank you for attending, everybody, and thank you, Jacinda, for giving us that great presentation. Thank you, everybody, okay. for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Jacinda. Bye now. Thanks, Bye. 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 Thank you.